Blessings, brother and sister in Christ. So I'm Romel from Lighthouse Church, Patea. So it is an honor to share my personal revelation and uh, testimony about this topic. Putting prayers into practice as part of the Lighthouse Church daily devotional reading. So as we learn more about the powerful God-given gift of prayer, so we need to ask ourselves some thought-provoking question and be honest with it because God wants to transform our mind and to experience the power and the privilege of prayers. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7, Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done so for others the idea of talking to God can be intimidating but it doesn't have to be so in fact prayer can be a wonderful experience if we know how to do it in God's way and putting it as our daily routine and practice. Fortunately, we have God's word to teach us how to pray. So in it tells us to pray at all time and every season. There always a reason to pray and to be thankful for. So God only desires that we pray from a pure and sincere heart. So we should be anxious or worried, but instead, in whatever condition we are in, let's petition to God our request because He listens and He answers. By doing this, God's peace surrounds our heart and mind and rely on His goodwill for us. So this always works for me. Sometimes I could be so overwhelmed by life challenges, but I always choose to take up the matter to the Lord and allow the Holy Spirit to work in my heart. After I pray, my situation doesn't change immediately or sometimes it doesn't change at all. But one thing is for sure, prayer does change my heart and so my perspective. So when I pray, it directs me to God, the source of my need, the source of my hope, and the very answer to my prayers. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21, it said, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. I am convinced that God's purpose in my life is much more important than what I believe is good for me. So I can come up with so many plans, pursue them, and end up being busy on something but uh, unproductive. But only God's plan is the safest and the surest territory because His plan is equal to His love, protection, peace, and promises. So if we trust Him, he is faithful to bring everything He has prepared for us in completion in His perfect timing. <laughs> God is good and He only does good. He is waiting for us to pray to Him and to give Him a license to intervene in our situation. So we have the key which is prayer and God has got all the power to answer every prayer we offer to Him. God answers to our prayers always the best expression of His love to us. So, what are you waiting for? Call unto God, pray, and believe that God is on His way to send His answer. So, let's make prayer a habit. It's like uh, oxygen. It's important to us to breathe and live. So is the prayer. As this is the only line that connects as to the giver of life so we can live a successful, meaningful life. So now, let us go to the Lord together and pray with confidence that we are in His will and His purposes. So let's pray. Uh, loving and Heavenly Father, we come to you through this prayer and let your will be done through mankind. 
let us know more about your good purposes in our lives and fulfill these purposes for us. Teach us how to do it God's way in prayer with sincere heart and never depart from your wonderful plans. Thank you for your word, your love, and for answering our prayers at your perfect timing. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, brother and sister in Christ, so go find your secret place and talk to the, our God the Father. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something uh, about this topic, putting prayers into practice.